Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Ojikangas from Accent American. And I decided um, while I was trying to help one of my clients uh, with sentence intonation that I should really make a short video for you about sentence intonation. I've made videos before about um, the different intonation patterns that we use for compound nouns, proper nouns, adjectives plus nouns, but I haven't made one on sentence intonation. So here is a short little lesson about how we intonate sentences in American English. Now, the very most important rule to remember is that we stress at least the last important word in a sentence. You might stress other words as well, and it can change which word is the last important word, but you need to stress at least the last important word. So, for example, if you were going to say a sentence like, hmm, I think I'm going to the store right now. Right now might be the last important two words. And how we would stress perhaps now would be to go um, longer vowel, use a longer vowel, louder volume, and a higher pitch. So we say, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go to the store right now. Ow! So that vowel is longer. And we go up in pitch, and we also use a little bit longer volume. So let's think about that sentence again. I think I'm going to go to the store right now. Well, we could also stress a few other words if we wanted. And which words we stress in a sentence in English can totally change the meaning of the sentence. So it's important to know how to use stress properly in a sentence. For example, we could say, I think... I'm going to go to the store right now. So there I stressed think and now, again by going up, using a higher pitch, louder volume, and louder or uh, longer vowel. I think I'm going to go to the store right now. You could also, of course, stress a different word. You could say, I think I'm going to go to the store right now. That would be another way to do it. So it, it really changes depending on your meaning. But a good rule of thumb is to remember to at least stress the last important word in a sentence. Now, how do you sound confident when you're making sentences in English? And this has to do with stress as well. Because what a good rule of thumb here is, is to go down at the end of a declarative sentence. When you are saying something such as, please give me the documents. Please give me the documents. You go down at the end of the sentence. And to go down, you also have to have been up. So you have had to go up with your pitch on documents and down. Please give me the documents. Now, if you use short sentences, that also helps you sound more confident. Instead of long-winded, I think, maybe, I don't know, well, I think I might, blah, blah, blah. It's better to use a short declarative sentence and to go down at the end of the sentence in order to sound confident. So in summary, for American English sentence intonation, stress at least the last important word in a sentence, stress by using a longer vowel, a louder volume and a higher pitch. And to sound confident, go down at the end of a sentence and use short sentences. Thanks so much for watching and listening. If you have any questions, please write me at dro at accent-american.com. Okay, bye-bye.